Many see China as a rising colossus set to overtake the United States as the next global hegemon. China's rise has been something of a miracle. It looks like a country might have found a way to take over another country with the stroke of a pen. A decade ago, all the talk about China was of strategic partnerships and a bright trading future. Well, it looks like China's race to become the number one economy. It has one glaring weakness, and it is massive. A successful attack here could credibly end China's ambition as a superpower, crippling its economy and leading to nearly one-third of its population killed or displaced. The weakness is the Three Gorges Dam, a structure so massive that slowed the Earth's rotation by 0.06 microseconds. While no doubt an incredible feat of engineering to China's adversaries, it presents itself as a big vulnerable target to exploit should an all-out war break out. So what makes the dam such a strategic target? What would be the fallout should it be attacked? Moreover, how does it all relate to Taiwan? Join us as we unravel the details of China's Achilles heel. Being so populated and essentially the workshop of the world, China needed a constant source of energy supply and fresh water to keep its economy growing and industries churning. That's why they sought a renewable form of energy production to meet their needs. That was finally realized with the dam's construction. With a capacity of 22,500 megawatts, the Three Gorges fulfills the role of powering China's most productive region, the Yangtze River Delta. It almost boosts shipping and protects the region from flooding, which is home to some 400 million people. Of course, record-breaking production could only be made possible by record-breaking engineering. The Three Gorges Dam is the biggest structure ever constructed. It stands 7,660 feet long and 607 feet high. Its reservoir extends almost 600 kilometers along the Yangtze River, storing almost 40 billion cubic meters of water. But the biggest price China has paid for its grand ambition is that it now has a massive target at the economic heart of its territory for any enemy military to exploit. Since the creation of the People's Republic of China in 1949, it has been posed as a strategic rival to the US, with the source of highest tension between the two being Taiwan. For decades, there have been territorial disputes between China and its neighboring country, Taiwan. Chinese leaders have wished to exercise sovereignty over the Republic of China, Taiwan. China claims the One China policy and wants to unify Taiwan with the mainland. That's where the role of the U.S. comes in. Taiwan has been backed by the U.S. since 1979. Not only this, the U.S. has sold arms and advanced weapons to Taiwan to contain Chinese influence in the region. So far, U.S. has helped maintain the status quo, but as China continues to grow its military and the U.S. resources are stretched thin with rising global turmoil, that might be changing. That is where an attack on China's Achilles heel appears to be Taiwan's main response to a possible Chinese attack. If Taiwan has to defend itself and counterattack on China, then Three Gorges presents itself as the best target. By attacking the dam, Taiwan can cripple China not only in terms of economic cost, but also people. The destruction of the Three Gorges can flood the Chinese region with billions of cubic meters of water, disrupting the whole nation and possibly ending its ability to even wage a conventional war. But before we get ahead of ourselves, it is important to ask, is Taiwan or any other hostile nation for that matter, even capable of doing so. First up, let's talk weapons. Taiwan, despite being tiny, packs some serious firepower. The development and development of conventional missiles aimed at key targets in China has long been Taiwan's deterrent strategy. Simply put, Taiwan's message to China is that if you attack us, even if we lose, you will not win. It's even worse for China if good old US of A gets involved. We're talking here about Tomahawk missiles, B-2 and B-1 strategic stealth bombers, and the MOAB, one of the most powerful non-nuclear bombs out there. This bomb is designed to destroy heavily fortified military bunkers buried deep underground. Finally, there is a formidable legion of fighter aircraft and hypersonic that the United States has at its disposal, which can successfully challenge China's control over its own airspace. Speaking of which, it can't be said that targeting the dam would be a walk in the park either. Starting off, the dam is made of steel concrete in which water is held back by the individual dam sections. It means that damage to one section cannot affect the other parts. The sources also claim that a dam can also bear the attack of a tactical nuclear missile due to its massive size and strength. 
That means any of China's rivals cannot simply drop a bomb and call it a day. The said bomb would have to be capable of borrowing into concrete to do any real structural damage. This is a capability the United States has, but as of now, Taiwan or even Japan doesn't. Add to that, the Chinese military is aware of its vulnerability, which is why it has devoted a significant amount of anti-air and anti-surface missiles to avoid any incoming attack. A no-fly zone is also in place surrounding the dam to counter any preemptive aggressive action. But the mere prospect of what could happen should its rivals successfully manage to destroy the dam might be enough to deter China from ever conducting too aggressive of a foreign policy, at least not against the United States or its allies. As of now, China's strategy is likely to remain the same regarding Taiwan. All bark, no bite. The story shows how national assets could become national liabilities. And it seems China has given one weak end to its rivals. If any war happens with rivals, China's main aim would not be offensive, but to protect its national assets, like this dam. Otherwise, billions of dollars of investment, human capital, and precious lives will be at stake. What may come ahead is very important for the whole geopolitical scenario. The military hit at Three Gorges could turn things around and increase regional tensions. What are your thoughts about it? Do you think China's Achilles heel can be targeted by outside military action? Will it limit China's continuous stance of unification towards Taiwan? Let us know in the comments section. For more information about such hot topics, check out our next video here. And don't forget to subscribe.